Hi Grand Fairies! Thanks for coming back to visit your Grands. And if you are new here, welcome. I'm Farah and I am your local internet grandma. Think WebMD, but more like Web Granny. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm just going to do T-Rex hands because I have no idea which side the subscribe button is on. Click that button to be a part of the Grand Fairy fam. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. Today's video is going to be on this makeup look right here. And it is my natural go-to makeup look. This is the kind of look that's going to play up your natural beauty. And it looks great on everyone. Whenever I'm going for a natural look, I like to focus on the skin. I want the skin to look juicy. I want it to look healthy. I want it to look like I'm the healthiest human being on earth. But in real life, I just ate a box of cookies before filming this intro. I love it because it only takes like five to seven minutes to put this entire look together and you can be out the door. So it's perfect for work or school. So if you want to know how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. I'm going to start off by priming my skin. I'm using my Farsali Unicorn Essence and just massaging this onto my skin. For foundation, I want to use something very lightweight, so I'm using the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact in the color medium, and I'm just taking the rounded butt of the Beauty Blender and pouncing this all over my face. Now I'm going to set my entire face using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the color medium. I'm just going to put a little bit in the cap, then I'm going to take my damp Beauty Blender and spray it with some rose water, pick up the powder, and set my entire face. So I'm going under the eyes, around the nose, on the nose, on my lid, my entire face pretty much. The face is almost done. We have one step left. We're not going to contour. We're not going to add any blush, no bronzer, nothing. Just highlighter. I personally love wearing highlighter with absolutely no makeup on. I like wearing it with this kind of makeup. I like wearing it with a full on beat glam on makeup. Highlighter just adds that extra bit of when you're wearing it with a natural makeup look and you're just wearing highlighter, it just makes you look like you drink so much water, you stay hydrated, you mind your business, you eat lots of vegetables, you love salad. But in reality, if you're like me and you're an aspiring healthy eater, you gotta fake it till you make it, you know? If you have never eaten a chocolate chip shortbread cookie, stop everything that you're doing right now. Click out of this video and go get a shortbread chocolate chip cookie, come back and we can discuss about how magnificent it is. Anyways, back to the point. I'm just gonna highlight all the high points of my face, including the tip of my nose, the unibrow area of my face, high points of my cheeks. So I like to place my highlighter right here, go into my temple area on my brow bone, and then right here. When you put a highlighter right here, it gives the illusion that your brows are lifted and it gives you the illusion of like an instant facelift. It is magical. I'm just going to protect my hair for this next step. We're going to spray our face with a face mist. I personally just love to use rose water and this is very important to kind of melt all the powders that we've put onto our skin, make the powder one with our skin and it's going to make our entire makeup look look like skin, like you're not wearing any makeup. So to fill in my brows, I'm just using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Granite. Please let me match my other brow to the brow that I've already done. Please let them at least be related. I'm not asking for sisters. I'm not asking for twins. I'm just asking for some sort of relation. Thank you. Now that my eyebrows are as closely related as they're gonna get, we're gonna set them in place. And I'm gonna be using my favorite brow gel, which is the Benefit Ready Set Brow. For mascara, I'm using the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara, which is just going to give me a natural lash look. It's going to make them long, it's going to flutter them out, and it's perfect for every day. 
Final step is lips. You could totally skip lips and just wear a lip balm and be out the door. Today I'm feeling like giving my lips a little extra love. I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip liner. This is by Makeup Forever and this is the High Precision Lip Pencil in the number 11. I'm just gonna line my lips with this lip liner. I'm not filling the entire lip in. And then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna push the color into my lip and kind of blend it out so it looks like it's my natural lip color. So that's about it for this makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something new. If you did, please don't forget to give your gram a great big thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below on what you would like to see next and I'll see you next week.